The numbers don't lie. Officials say as tourism and culture insiders assess the month of July, which witnessed the hosting of the marquee summer festival, Lucian Carnival. However, despite the cultural extravaganza's success, Tourism Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire acknowledges the need for improvements in both the carnival and tourism sectors to sustain and enhance future growth. Over 30% increase um, July on July and last year was quite a successful month for us. Um, July this year was on par with 2019, um, which was the biggest year that we've had in terms of tourism arrivals for, for the year. Um, we're still slightly down on yacht arrivals and cruise arrivals, uh, but we're expecting the next cruise season for us to return to the 2019 figures. And of course, we've already started planning for, for next year. When questioned about the plan to boost St. Lucia's cruise and yachting numbers, the tourism minister disclosed that strategic improvements are in the works. He acknowledged the importance of enhancing the island's appeal to these high-value sectors, noting that efforts will focus on infrastructure, marketing, and tailored experiences to attract more cruise passengers and yachting enthusiasts. There is no one particular item one can see that is the cause why we've not. Look, look at even the original arrivals. We're still below where we were in 2019. And when you see the figures, you realize um, we still have some issues with regional arrivals. Um, of course, we do know that FLIF is still an issue. Um, one of the reasons why we were able to have such a good July is because of the increase in seats this summer, both from jazz all the way up to um, end of August. We, we've had a significant increase in the number of seats, uh, and that has helped us. So um, we're going to continue the efforts to promote yachting and to, to try to attract a lot more yachts than we have. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we actually um, finalizing plans to submit to DCA in relation to Marigo Bay. There's going to be a complete redevelopment of Marigo Bay. According to Dr. Hilaire, preparations are underway for an even larger and more immersive carnival event. Officials aim to strike a balance between culture and commercialization to ensure the festival's growth remains harmonious, preserving its cultural essence while expanding its appeal to a wider audience. The important thing for us is to continue to focus on the growth of the festival. Um, there are some very critical aspects of it. How do we ensure we maintain some historical significance to the celebration? How do we continue to manage its growth? Um, so we, we are preparing and we will be having a press launch you know, in early October and the international launch in Miami, as usual, just before Miami Carnival. Culture and tourism officials are championing festival tourism as a key driver of economic growth across various sectors. Dr. Hilaire is particularly optimistic about the Yamaha Festival, which is expected to boost economic activity during a historically dry spell for tourism in St. Lucia. It's going to be a, a really attractive headliner. And of course, as we approach um, early November, all the promotions will step up. But it's going to be a major event, major, major event. And it's going to become a regular feature on our calendar of events. As St. Lucia looks to leverage festival tourism for economic growth, all eyes will be on the Yamaha Festival to see if it delivers the anticipated boost. Tulaj Alfred, HDS News Force. Live the rhythm! Live the adventure!